friends, welcome back to my channel Draw Vlogs. Today I have been searching through the Google to find out what are the new cars coming in the next few years. So like 2021 to 2023 and I have found lots of exciting new cars that are coming. So I thought it would be nice to share with you all. And let's get started, it's going to be an A to Z list. So let's start with Alfa Romeo. So Alfa Romeo is launching a small SUV called the Tonale and it will get a small range of petrol engines and it's going to be the first hybrid Alfa Romeo and it will cost about 41,000 euros. So the second car company in our list is Audi. So Audi has just released the e-tron GT and the RS e-tron GT. They will be also releasing a Q4 e-tron and also a Q4 e-tron Sportback. And these will have about 300 miles of range. If you don't like electric cars, they will be also making an RS3. So the RS3 will keep its legendary 2.5 liter 4 cylinder engine with 400 horsepower. And it will get a new 4 wheel drive system. But can it beat the Mercedes-Benz AMG A45S with 421 horsepower? We don't know. Then they will be also making changes to the A8 to make it even more luxurious. So that's it about Audi. And the next company in the list is BMW. So BMW has just launched the M3 and the M4. They will be also launching an M4 convertible and an M3 estate for the first time ever. These cars will have about 480 horsepower in the standard form and 510 in the competition form. And yeah, it's going to be really cool with uh, the Audi R6 and the Mercedes E63S and the M3, which will be quickest, we don't know. They'll be also launching an SUV, which is a coupe. Uh, it will be called the X8 and it's going to be expensive than the X7 because of its coupe-like body and yeah. It's going to be really cool to see and I hope they make an exit M of that car and I hope it will be getting 850 horsepower. Then they will be doing some changes to the 7 series so it will get lots of tech and for the first time ever it's going to be electric and called the i7. So there will be also a 4 series Grand Coupe which will be the Ford version of the 4 series. And there will be also a 2 series coupe, which is rear wheel drive. And yeah, it should get 3 liter straight 6 for the M2 version. So, next on the list is Cupra. And Cupra has just launched the Formento SUV. And yeah, they will be also making an electric hatchback called the Elborn. And this will be sharing lots of parts with the ID3 and should have a range of 300 miles and they will be also launching an electric SUV after that uh, so it will look like something like the Tavascan prototype in the motor shows they showed uh, and it will have about 350 miles of range next up is Dacia so Dacia has just launched the Bigster SUV uh, but unfortunately it's just a prototype but the, this will inspire a different car and yeah it's going to be bigger than the duster and it should be getting lots of engines borrowed from Renault uh, but I hope they keep the Bigster name because it's a cool name next up is DS DS has just launched the DS9 saloon which is like an S class from French and yeah really expensive but they will be also making uh, an SUV which is called the DS4 this will get small petrol engines and should be a luxurious post SUV so next up on the list is Hyundai Hyundai will be launching a lot of electric cars under the name Ionic so the first is Ionic 5 and yeah it will have a range of 290 miles and yeah it's a boxy old school g-wagon looking like a sedan 
and yeah it should have a range of 290 miles and yeah you should get it with one or two motors the quickest will do 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds the next is ionic 6 which is in sleeker coupe like uh, sedan and it will be like a competitor to the rs7 and they will be also launching an suv called the ionix 7 before 2024 and during these times they have been also found time to make an i20n and this will do 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds there will be also the kona n which will be getting a two liter engine and should have 200 horsepower in the standard form and 225 in the performance plus form that's all about hyundai so next on my list is kia kia will be launching a lot of electric evs by 2027 and it will be based on the ionic platform of hyundai because kia's parent company is hyundai so one will be based on the ionic 5 and that should have a range of 300 miles they will be also making a seven seater suv and which should be based on the ionic 7 and that's it about Kia. Next up is Land Rover. So Land Rover has just launched the Defender. But the Defender was very slow. And yeah, Land Rover has found a way to make it quick by making an SV version of it. So it will get a 5 liter supercharged V8 with 525 horsepower. And yeah, it's going to be really cool and yeah that's about land rover so next up on my list is mercedes mercedes has just launched the eqa which is an electric version of the gla they will be also launching an eqb which is an electric version of the glb this will have about 250 miles of range and should come out before 2024 they will be also launching two sedans which are electric also called the eqe and the eqs these are electric versions of the E-Class and the S-Class. These will have about 430 miles of range. They will be also launching an EQS SUV, which will also have 432 horsepower. Then, AMGs. So, Mercedes will be launching the C63. This will not have a V8. It will have a four-cylinder engine, but it's not no ordinary four-cylinder engine. It's a four-cylinder engine from the a45 s so it produces 425 horsepower but this has been tweaked up to 445 horsepower and yeah you would be getting two electric motors and combined you will have 580 horsepower which is 40 more than the previous version and for the first time ever it will have four wheel drive and a drift mode that's about the c63 then they will be doing some changes to the gt63 s this will also get the same treatment but not the four cylinder engine instead it will keep the v8 and the electric motors and combined it will have 850 horsepower so it should be faster than the m5 the r6 the e63s and everything it's very fast so it will be four wheel drive and should be even quicker than the old uh, gt63s but they will be also doing an S63 of the S63 AMG, which is an AMG version of the S-Class. Uh, this will have 800 horsepower, this will have the V8 in the front and the electric motor, but 800 horsepower only, as I said. And this will also have four-wheel drive. So that's about Mercedes. So the next car company on my list is McLaren. McLaren has been using V8 engines for a long time but it has just revealed a car with a 3 liter v6 twin turbo it has 650 horsepower and only weighs 1500 kilos and should be able to do 0 to 60 in 3 seconds flat that's just mind blowing so next up on my list is nissan nissan has just released the course car but they will be launching an electric SUV called the Aria and it will get one or two electric motors and should have a range of 350 miles. 
So next up on my list is Puja. Puja has just launched the 308, but there is not a GTI yet confirmed. But there will be a 508, which is going to be a high performance version called the PSC. This will have two electric motors and combined 355 horsepower and should be a competitor to the BMW 330e. Okay. So next up on my list is Polestar. Polestar will be launching an electric saloon which will be called the Preset. But unfortunately, no starts until now. So next up is Renault. Renault has been inspired from the classic 5 Renault to make Super Mini, which looks cool. Yeah, I like it. So the next company is Skoda. Skoda has just released the ENIAC. It should have 316 miles of range. It looks cool. Even though it's an EV, it has a grill. So the final manufacturer is Volkswagen. And Volkswagen will be making an estate version of the new Golf R. There will be also a coupe version of the ID4 called the ID5. They will be also making a 7 seater car called the ID6. There will be also an R version of the ID3. So that's it for this video. Comment down below which was your favorite car. And bye!